folks, you know the deal. It's Random Rush. I listen to Rush Limbaugh randomly for 60 seconds, and then I respond in 90 seconds. It's 1.25 almost p.m. Eastern. Let's see if he's not in break. Hopefully he's not. Alternative minimum tax, but it is out there. It's, it's, it's in too many places. It is on somebody's drawing board. And one of the questions about the fiscal cliff talks is what happens to the AMT? The AMT, just to refresh your memory, was implemented in 1969 to make sure that upper income Americans paid their taxes. There were, I forget what the number is, but it was so small. There were, I want to say 50 exceedingly rich people who didn't pay any income tax. And this, of course, was outrageous. This was unacceptable. So they came up with the alternative minimum tax, made sure that everybody paid something. And what's happened over the years, it is more and more middle income Americans have been caught by the AMT because it was never indexed for inflation. All right. So here's uh, Limbaugh talking about the AMT, and he's absolutely right. This is the one time I'm ever going to agree with Rush Limbaugh. His assessment of what the AMT, and I don't think it's such a a small uh, potatoes that whatever that number was of extremely rich people uh, were not paying taxes. I, I think that's sort of a problem, but I know he thinks that's a joke. But yes, the AMT was basically uh, saying that you cannot deduct away all of your tax burden if you're a very wealthy person. And because it wasn't indexed properly, it does capture uh, an increasingly number of of people who are maybe a little bit more wealthy than upper class. In fa- I mean, uh, middle class. In fact, yes, I would say significantly so, uh, particularly in the tri-state area, uh, because a lot of New Yorkers uh, get caught in that because they don't uh, deduct their state, state tax. But There is no doubt in my mind that the AMT fix is going to go through just like it has every single year. And to demagogue this is to change the subject from the fact that you have the top 2% of this country, and in fact, all Americans, there's a story in the New York Times today, all Americans except for some low-income Americans are paying less in taxes than they were in 1980. And if we had been following those tax rates since 1980, there would be no deficit. It would be practically gone. So Limbaugh can uh, jaw, jaw, jaw about the AMT, but at the end of the day, he's just trying to obfuscate the fact that Republicans are going to have to eat it. And the very wealthy in this country are going to have to pay a fair amount of tax and a more traditional, a more traditional percentage of tax. I went a little over. Forgive me. Traditional America, just like Bill O'Reilly wants. Yeah. <laughs> 